Everybody's your boyfriend, Martin, and here we go with what winds my crank with Mr. Frank. So his winding my crank today is that Westboro Baptist Church will picket the funeral of a child killed in the Arizona attack? Okay, that's just too sad. Oh, I'm getting a headache. Anyways, if you don't know anything about the Arizona attack, check the link in the description. It'll take you to my last video that I did that was on the attack. Um, this is really like maybe a part two to this whole situation. But here's the deal. The lady, or the girl's name was Christina Green. She was shot and killed. She was nine years old, and she was born on September the 11th, the day of the attack, the terrorist attack, all right? Uh, she was seen as a baby of hope because she was born in the midst of a big tragedy. The ironic part is, and I use the word ironic loosely, is that that's when the Westboro Baptist Church actually became more well-known for spreading their message of hate because they went to... Uh, the 9-11 site and was picketing, they uh, picketed firemen and police officers that died at 9-11, people who, whose funerals were for 9-11, they were picketing there as well. Um, military people, when they go off to war, when they came back, uh, if they died and there was a funeral for military people, they would be there in the funeral, just shouting at people at the funeral. Now, certain states have made restrictions where they tell them that they have to be on the other side of the road and things of that nature, but this is taking things a little bit too far. Now, for some of you who do not know, the church, as it is the Christian religion, don't really recognize this Westboro Baptist Church as actually being a real church because they don't preach anything of love, they just preach hate. Uh, so much so that Billy Graham, a pastor that a lot of Christian pastors look up to and have studied under, have, have gone to his rallies. Westboro Baptists have actually gone to his rallies saying that people that go to his rallies are going to hell. So you can see that not a lot of fans. Um, another thing, interesting fact about them, that ABC actually did a uh, expose on the family who started this church as being known as the most hated family in America. So to me, their notoriety is the fact that they've been hated for so long. So, I don't really see why. Why would anybody want to join this? I don't see why are they trying to pick up this poor girl's little girl's funeral and just ruining their their, their whole parents' time is trying to, to, to mourn the last glimpses they can have of their child. So, ladies and gentlemen, this brings me to my favorite part of what winds my crank with Mr. Frank. And that is the question of the day. Should Westboro Baptist Church lose their First Amendment rights? I know that sounds really odd. But we are all given these rights. But I think there should be some sort of rules stating that if you are doing the things that, that Westboro Baptist is doing, you do not have First Amendment rights anymore. Cops should be allowed to arrest you. Cops should be allowed to detain you or to keep you one mile away from the proceedings at all times so that you won't be affecting the grieving people. I would not want to grieve knowing that my daughter died and having these guys yell and scream to the top of their lungs how she's going to hell. That would just make my day all the worse. So, for all you people out there, leave your comments below on the YouTube page or if you're on our Facebook page. Uh, make sure you subscribe and become a fan of our Facebook page and uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel here. Uh, if you're on MyMorningJoe.com, just leave your comment in the window below. My name is Frank Martin, and this one here seriously rhymes my crank. <laughs>